to see the state that the world is in today is truly, truly, truly concerning. The amount of power that men let women have because they do. They are letting women have the power because they are that big of cucks. Do you, do you, do you guys understand the power that women actually have today over men? When you look at the whole world, these chicks are running shit at OnlyFans. You got guys paying for that shit. Let me just pay you, even though I have nothing to do with you. For what? These chicks are clowning these types of guys. And not only over the likes of social media and the OnlyFans and stuff like that. In real life as well. You got guys buying girls drinks and, and doing all this kind of crazy shit. They're laughing at you, bro. They don't love you. They don't care for you. And it's not even that they should. But the fact that you know this and you still do peasant shit is really fucked up. Women are never going to truly love you unconditionally. But if you're not respected as a man, why are you even dealing with any chick at all? It comes down to respect. Does she respect you? Because most women today don't respect most men. And most men aren't even worthy of being respected anyways. The way you act. Go on social media, look at the comment section in posts of women. Guys commenting, drooly emojis and all this kind of crazy shit. It's just stupid, bro. What are you doing? Like, she don't like you. She don't care about you at all. She's laughing at you. She's towing you along. Like on a fucking string. <laughs> do you want to be a clown? Or do you actually want to have a successful life? As a man. And have things go your way. Because I'm pretty sure we all know the answer. But clowns are always going to be clowns, bro. There's so much information today. I don't understand how, how there's so many men continuously failing. So hard with women. They just give the power up so easy, bro. There's videos right now of women talking how easy most men are. If things were this easy, how could you even appreciate the opposite gender? Women have much higher standards than most men. If you generalize, most men, most women, women have way higher standards generally than men. It's the top tier guys who have high standards. You have no other option but to become a top tier guy and have high standards. Because when you have high standards, that's actually attractive to women. They're attracted to guys with high standards. Guys who, are, who just show them instantly, I'll do anything for you type of vibe. It's not that you say those words, it's that type of vibe, the way you text her, the way you message her, the way you approach her, the way you talk to her in person, whatever. They know this, bro. And so many idiots just give their power up so fucking easily, man. You'll do anything just to have a little conversation with her. You'll look like the biggest idiot, like the biggest fool. And you think you're having success with the whole time. She's clowning you. The whole fucking time you're being clowned. Women with value want a man with value. Women who are valueless, they might not care as much. 
But a woman with value, bro, she's not even going to look your way. You have to be better than her. A woman with value and a man with value. The man has to have more value. There's levels to the shit. You have to know exactly what the fuck you're doing. And if you think it's cool to just go to talk to any girl, you're out of your fucking mind. That shit's easy. That shit is too easy. You have to work hard on yourself as a man and you have to have high standards. You have to have rules. You have to put your foot down. But there's so many guys that'll just do anything for any chick. And you wonder why you can't get the chicks you actually want. Because you do all that dumb shit. And you know what? It's not even easy. It's not easy to get the chicks you really want because it's not supposed to be. Even if you're that guy, it's still not easy. It's a waiting game. You gotta be patient. You have to know what you're doing. You have to know what truly attracts her. You can't just, as soon as you think you have her, you can't just completely bend, completely fold, completely do something stupid. Because the smallest shit can ruin everything. There's so many things that guys don't know, bro. There's so many things. And to me, it comes easy. To me, it comes naturally. I know what to do. Just naturally. There's no game. There's no nothing involved. And this is kind of why I'm saying, I can tell you whatever I want to tell you, but at the end of the day, when you are face-to-face -face with her or whatever, if you naturally don't know what you're doing, there's not a there's not a coaching course, there's not a course you can take that's gonna help you with women, none of that shit's gonna work, bro. You really have to know what you're doing naturally. You you either have it or you don't. And it's not easy to keep them either. It's not easy to get them, it's not easy to keep them, it's not designed to be that way. But when you're that guy, you will have your way. You will have your success. And it takes time. I've had plenty high-value chicks. I've lost plenty high-value chicks. I know how this shit works. You get them. You can keep them. They can go. They can regret it. They come back. You don't take them back. Because they were disrespectful. They thought the need to be disrespectful. They thought maybe they can do it better. They're going to see. They're going to find out. And then they can't. You don't take a chick like that back. And you know what? People make mistakes. We're not going to harp on it. We're not going to be like, oh, this, this, and this. She's terrible. Who cares, bro? What happened, happened. There's plenty other fish in the sea. And as a high value guy, you know this. And that makes her nervous. She knows you can get good. She knows that. And sometimes women mess up bad, bruh. It's not even that you weren't good enough. Sometimes they fuck up. Sometimes they make the right decision. But the truth will come to light. And like I said, it's not easy getting the best chicks. It's not easy. But you can do it if you know what you're doing. If you have it, you can do it. And I think every guy should, but not every guy is going to actually get them. But I think if you, if you think you can, I think you should do what it takes to get it. And then the worst of the worst guys, <clears throat> they will take anything, bro. They will take anything. And it's mind-blowing. It's way too easy. It's just way fucking too easy, bro. It's not attractive. And even those women are not going to respect you, which is fucked up. If women that are down there don't respect you, what the fuck do you think the top-tier women are going to do? They're not even going to look your way. They're not even going to have a second thought or 
or thinking about you secondly, bruh, they're not even they're not even looking your way. They see you when they're gone. You're just nothing. You don't catch their eye, you don't do it for them, you don't do nothing for them at all. And a lot of the time it's because of your actions. If you give yourself away way too quick, way too easy thinking, being the nice guy is going to get you in the door. Just be nice to her. Just do this. Just do that. Just do that. Just be your fucking self, bruh. Just be yourself. And even being yourself sometimes is not going to work with some girls, which is why guys think, oh, maybe I have to adjust and be a certain way to get her. No, you don't. Like I said before, it's not easy to get women, especially women with value, for anybody they don't just give themselves up so easily that they play a little bit of a game too. No man, no woman should give themselves up easy. Both shouldn't. It does take work. It does take time. For things to come together. Hell, I wouldn't even like a woman that just easily gives herself to me so easy. And there are some chicks, bro, that message me that do that. You think I find that attractive? Oh yeah, let me take you up. Um, absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's way too easy. You're right there. Anybody can get you at any time. Maybe not anybody, but <laughs> you're just right there. Way too easy. You're not that attractive. Whatever. And then again, you can't be too closed off either. It's good to show a little something, maybe not right away, but it's good to show that you're kind of in it. Because to come off so closed off, it's just going to push people away. And you should be closed off to some people, but if you actually see something with somebody, but you want to act so hard, you want them to chase, some women do too much and it hurts them it hurts them they think oh there are a lot of guys that chase and all this stuff they might think they can do that to you but they can't you'll message once if they want to play that game you don't talk to them again and then here they are in your stories here they are watching you here they are thinking that you're going to chase them and you don't and it's like damn now they're more attracted to you if you were to continue to try to get them, they see that. They see right away, this guy is not worthy. They don't find that attractive. They always want what they cannot have. That's why you have to be smart when it comes to these chicks with value. The prettier ones. You gotta be smart, bruh. If you don't understand it, you're fucked. If you think just being nice and, and doing all this shit is gonna work, you're in for a rude awakening. You really have to know what you're doing. Most guys today are getting completely clowned. Women are behind the scenes laughing at you, bruh. They're laughing at you. Cause you don't know what you're doing and you give yourself to them so easy. You're making your approach, but it, it comes off like, like she can just have you. She knows that. She don't want you instantly. She wants a prize. How the fuck is that a prize? If you go to the arcade, if you go to an arcade spot, you put your tokens in and you play that game where you have this like little fucking like control thing and a whole, like a, uh, there's like a claw up top that's like moving and it has to dive down and squeeze a prize and pick it back up. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know that game. There's a, there's a certain prize in that glass thing, in that plastic glass thing, whatever the fuck it is. There's a prize you want to pick up. There's a particular thing you're going for and there's a whole bunch of bullshit fucking options. Bruh. You can click that button anywhere you want. You can just, you can put that thing around, you can click down, you're gonna pick something up. If you pick up every other fucking weird ass looking fish in there, 
some little some little foam fish or some shit when you want it to fucking I don't know whatever big ass prize there is that that's in there that's rare if you just pick up any other fucking thing when there's a million of them what value does that have that's so easy you're not even gonna want to take that home you don't care about that you're gonna forget about that you might even not even take it you might just throw it in the garbage or give it to some kid because you don't want it you want the prize guess what I want the prize too I like nice shit do you like nice shit, or will you just take anything? Is anything good enough for you? Because that's not how I think. That's not how any guy thinks with value. That's not how any female thinks with value. And what I'm saying today is, there's so many guys who are so fucking thirsty, they'll just take anything. They're not willing to play the waiting game. You have to, you have to stay patient. You can't be, you can't run in so quick. Your shit's gonna get snapped. What even happens in paintball when you think you can just run anywhere without getting peppered? You get peppered. You have to be strategic. There's so many analogies I could use with life. If you don't understand these things in psychology, you're just fucked. You're always gonna get toyed around. You're always gonna be a joke to women. And even women, you'll be a joke to men if you're just so easy. And I'm not saying completely be, be completely closed off. Don't show anything at all. Just make it seem like you don't want to talk to them at all. You can't do that either. That's why I'm saying you have to really know what you're doing. You really do. But there's so many people fucking up. And you know what? I think, I think things should be this way. Because if everything was so easy, bro, we would not appreciate it. Let's be real. We can sit here and say, oh, I wish the better women were, were a lot easier and I could get them a lot easier and stuff like this, bro. If you could, you wouldn't even appreciate it. Let's be real. You do appreciate it a lot more when it's not so easy. Like, way too easy. But it can't be too long either. There's some, you know, there's some females I've talked to for up to three months and then I let it go because that's too fucking long, bruh. That's just too long. That's too much. And they liked me. I don't know if I liked them or not. I don't fucking know. But they seemed worthy. But then I had to cut that shit off and they got sad because of that. There's certain shit, bro, you like, both men and women have to know what they're doing, bro. Let's be real. It, it really does go both ways. I know I made this video particularly on men fucking up and getting clowned, but it really does go both ways. Like, both parties have to know what they're doing. You can't give too much. You can't give too little. It seems like such games and stuff like this, but it's really real, bro. And I really believe... If people were more on point, these things wouldn't be happening. Nothing would even be considered a game. None of this shit. If more people were just on point, it goes to show how many people in the world are not on point. When you are on point, things come so naturally. Nothing really matters that much. You're just going to have your way. But if you're not on point, it's going to be very fucking hard. You're going to get clowned. You're going to try too hard. You're going to fumble. At the end of the day, you really just have to know what you're doing in every situation you're in with the opposite gender. you got to know what you're doing. And once you get to a certain point, things will get easier. It's never going to, it's never going to be completely easy but it's going to get easier. And unfortunately things can end sometimes because somebody fucks up. I've had multiple women in my life. They fucked it up. And they regretted it. That's why I'm saying sometimes some guys can fuck it up. Sometimes women fuck it up and they regret it. They thought something, something ran through their mind and they were wrong about 
their own thoughts, which is delusion. They thought something that wasn't even what they thought. <laughs> they might have thought I was going to play them or something like this the whole time. They were tripping out. And that's just me saying that as an example. Sometimes people can think these things and, and your thoughts are not always true. That's something else you have to take into consideration. Sometimes when you think about certain things, oh my God, is she a hoe? Oh my God, is he going to play me? And stuff like this. Sometimes when you think that, it's not true. Sometimes it is, sometimes it is not. If there's evidence, well, it's pretty clear what is. If you don't have the evidence and you might, oh, I might think so. Maybe it is, maybe it is not. Sometimes people trip out and sketch out when it wasn't even that. And they can ruin something and all of a sudden, respect is lost. So, it all comes back to this. At the end of the day, you really just have to know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, you'll have no problem. Shit ain't gonna be necessarily easy, but you're gonna get what you, what you want. It's gonna come. It might not be easy, but it's gonna come. And you will get what you want. Because you're on point, you work for it. You fit the criteria. If you don't fit the criteria, you're just, it's just, shit's not gonna work. You gotta be on point, bruh. And if you're not on point, you're going to be another fucking clown in this world. Being clowned by women, paying for OnlyFans, doing this, doing that. You're fucking up, bruh. Like, I don't get that shit. All that time, the money, everything else you could be losing, could be going into yourself. You become the prize. Stop trying to win a fucking prize. How about that? Let me say it like that. Stop trying to win a fucking prize and become the prize. If you are a man, someone else has to win you. Some other chick has to win you. You're not trying to win her. You will get her. She has to win you over. You're going to give her the ring eventually. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. But she has to fight for you. When you become the prize, this is the shit that happens. Because you're far superior in life, in knowledge, in finances, in every way you can think. That's what women want. They want a man that is superior to them. They are highly attracted to that. Of course they want that. So, you become the fucking prize. And stop trying to buy your way into something. Stop trying to look for a prize in a woman become the fucking prize that's what you have to do there is no other way of success this is it